It's showtime! T-Bone, Justin Harris will lead the freight train down the back straightaway into turns three and four for the first time. He will bring them down to the Roosters flagstick. Lap number one to Justin Harris. And a good battle behind him with the Sears number 83X and the number 98H of Jimmy Phelps. They're three wide with Adam Pearson. Pearson on the top side, Phelps in the middle. The 83X of Sears down on the bottom as they race their way into turn number three and four. Good three-car battle here for the runner-up spot. Sears all the way down to the bottom lane. He's got the two spot over Pearson. Phelps is four. And Mad Max right behind them. Running in position number five, Johnson, Britton, and Shepard behind them. The number 21A surrendering a top five run here tonight. Oh, well, Mad Max likes the bottom. He's going after the bandit in position number three is on the line as they head into turn three and four. Yeah, Mad Max staying committed to the bottom lane and it almost paid off there going into turn three. But look at Shepard coming around the top side. Oh, close call here at the start finish line. Shepard noses ahead into turn one. 30 are in the books as they exit corner number two, third, fourth, and fifth all together. Second place, a quarter of a straightaway ahead of them. A full straightaway ahead is the number three of Justin Harris, your race leader. But we keep our eye on this battle for position number three, four, and five. Phelps, McLaughlin, and a Shepard. Mad Max going to the top side. Maybe Shepard showed him a little something here. You've spent a lot of time on iRacing slider line <laughs> as they race their way into turn number three and four. Mad Max will now try to top to see what he can find to get around his teammate as Shepard will go to the bottom and see what he can find in the number 9S, 33 laps in, 43 left, and you might as well experiment a little bit, and it's gonna pay off for McLaughlin taking over position number three. It doesn't seem like it was that long ago that Mad Max was in the middle of this battle that we're watching. He has absolutely left this battle. Mad Max turning it on, trying to close up on Sears for second as Shepard now gets the spot from Phelps here on lap 37. The battle for the runner-up spot as they work their way down the back stretch. Sears in the 83X on the bottom. McLaughlin, a good run into turn number three. Rolls it through the center of the turn. The battle for the second position as they cross the line here on lap 39. Mad Max putting on a great battle here for that spot. His father, Magic Shoes, Mike McLaughlin, with nine career wins here at the Land of Legends as Max will go around the outside of Sears Give the runner-up spot to the crazy 8-H. Number 25 on the low side into turn number one and two. Boy, the way Shepard's got to pitch that car going into turn number one. Man, he's got to get that thing really kicked sideways. And now he might have the third spot here into turn, or the fourth spot here into turn three. As on the back deck lid as they come down to the line. 72 and four the count into turn number one. And Mad Max steps out to the outside, side by side for the race lead off of turn two. It's the first time he's shown hairs a wheel and you've got a new race leader to turn number three. Mad Max McLaughlin takes the lead through turns number three and four. T-Bone's gonna come back down to the inside, but it's McLaughlin on the top shelf with three to go. Mad Max into turn number one and two. White flag will be displayed. A half mile separates Max McLaughlin from his first career points paying Super Dirt Car Series victory into turn number one and two. The driver out of Mooresville, North Carolina, the FX Caprera Harley Davidson Mohawk Northeast HBR Racing number eight age. He'll set it up into turn number three and four. The Stars and Stripes 76 and Mad Max pumps the fists with the victory. Getting the congratulations, $7,600 in the bank, ladies and gentlemen, for Mad Max McLaughlin. The winner here tonight at Land of Legends Raceway. Man, we had a, a really good race car. Um, these guys worked their tails off. Justin Harris, uh, can't say enough about him. He, he drove a hell of a race, and uh, he's one of my favorite guys in the pit area. So uh, kudos to him for racing me clean. That was fun. And, Man, I can't say enough about these guys. We've been, we've been horrible the last couple of weeks, and we never gave up, kept digging. Um, 
all the guys back in the shop, they just worked their tails off. I can't say enough about them, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I've won four Super Dirt Series races now, but it's my first point Spain win, so uh, this one means a lot for sure. Yeah, I was like, oh man, I think it's too late. I thought he was going to get a run, and then, uh, you know, I, I got a real good run on the bottom out of four, and I saw Matt, you know, get a little sheared on exit, and I was like, man, here's my time, and, uh, you know, split him and Jimmy going into one. Had a really good run, but uh, this car was, was fun to drive. All the guys back at uh, HBR, Al Hankey, thank you uh, for giving me the opportunity to come back and drive your race car. FX Caprera, Harley Davidson, the Caprera family, Mohawk Northeast, HBR. Uh, Larry Donk at Armor Security has done a lot for me, and uh, Cellular Sales, Luke Fletcher, and Dig Racing Shocks. Uh, you know, we, we've been working hard. Crew Chief Jake, my dad, Kurt, Jimmy, um, we, we just work really well together, and um, it seems like... Uh, you know, we can release information off each other and uh, you know, the more information we share, I think the faster these cars are going to get.